There was also, of course, opportunity cost. We were excited to go build our own big business and learn a lot from that. And so really what it came down to is, were they willing to do this deal? Were they willing to make a fair trade of value that made it worth our while to go work on this with Twitter instead of pursuing it on our own? And that's, of course, when you get into negotiation. And so my co-founder led most of this and uh, went back and forth over countless phone calls over the next four days and that weekend, and actually ultimately kept them up negotiating until 2 a.m. Christmas Eve. Remember, this was late December. And we ended up deciding to go for it and sign the turn sheet at 10 a.m. Christmas morning. And so that had been an incredible period. And it, on one sense, you're like, wow, that's an incredible Christmas. On the other hand, it's like, OK, wow, we have way too much to do now. And we need to get back and tell everyone. Because keep in mind, nobody knew. We hadn't even told the team we were in San Francisco. And so I wanted to talk through, again, a few things that we got right and wrong. So this I've, I've harped on. We had complete strategic alignment. And I think this is deeply essential to the long-term success of the, of the acquisition. Uh, we had credible funding alternatives, so we were negotiating from a very strong position. We actually had at least a year of runway already left, so we would had no need to sell. We were already had the B round almost closed. In fact, our investors agreed to match any valuation Twitter gave us. And so we had total optionality there. And so that worked very well. Um, we also, because only my co-founder and I knew, had complete control over all sides of the story. And this became deeply important. And so the two of us knew exactly who each other talked to and what we said and what the messaging was. So we could control the message not to, just to Twitter and not just to our team, but to our investors, to our advisors, to our legal team, et cetera. And so this actually made the process far less stressful than I think it otherwise would have been and far less chaotic because we were able to run it with such a, a small core group of people. The key there is you have to live up to your team's trust.